हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज द सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ एग्जाम्पल सो इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव टू कवर अवर फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ वॉटर टैंक विच इज द एलिवेटेड स्टोरेज रिजर्व ऑयल इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ई एस आर सो इन द ई एस आर टाइप ऑफ वॉटर टैंक वी हैव टू डिस्कस अबाउट द इंस टाइप ऑफ वॉटर टैंक इन विच वी हैव टू कवर three main components which is already or always asked in the gtu exam so our first component is the design of top dome the second component is the design of top ring beam and the third component is the design of cylindrical portion so students in the inch type of water tank you have to prepare for these three components because these three components is very most important okay now the second type of water tank is the rectangle water tank which is raised on a ground so there will be 50 percentage of similarity in the raised of raised on ground and the underground water tank because the both the water tanks having the shape of rectangle okay so now we have to start about the design of raised on ground rectangle water tank okay so generally this raised on ground rectangle water tank is not an exit analysis method okay so we have to design any rectangle water tank which is raised on ground having the approximate method okay so there are two type of cases in a rectangle type of water tank so the first case is having the l by b ratio is less than 2 l means the length of tank b means width of tank so if your length of tank divided by width of tank ratio is less than 2 then you have to design of raised on ground water tank is the different method and if your l by b ratio is greater or equal to 2 then the method is the difference okay so in your syllabus or in gtu frequently asked the example is to design a rectangle water tank having the l by b ratio is less than 2 so students you can see that this is the plan of rectangle water tank okay so if you can see that the plan plan means from top view then you have to see length and width okay so this is the length of water tank and this is the width of water tank but if we are seeing from elevation side of view it means from side so if we are seeing from this side we have to see two dimension first one is l and second one is h which is equal to height so this is the plan and elevation of rectangle type of water tank next is in rectangle type of water tank some portion is de design as continuous portion and some other portion is design as cantilever portion so this is the elevation of the rectangle water tank in which bottom portion having the denoted by small h so this small h value having the maximum value of h by 4 capital h by 4 so our capital h is the height of rectangle water tank divided by 4 or 1 so what is the maximum value of these two condition so the maximum value of this two value is designed for cantilever portion and the rest of portion is designed as the continuous portion so students you all know that with the increasing in the with the increasing in the depth the pressure will be increase okay so this is the top portion of the water tank so you can see that 
the pressure will be minimum. If we are increasing in the depth, so the pressure will be increasing. So what is the maximum pressure at the bottom? So the maximum pressure at the bottom is gamma W into H. This portion is already discussed in our last chapter in which we have to cover our three main topics of lateral earth pressure in which the first condition is dry soil. Second condition is submerged soil in which we have to take the pressure of soil plus water. Okay. But in the retaining, sorry, in the water tank, there will be only water. So we will take the pressure of water only. So the equation of pressure is gamma W into capital H. But this is the value of small h. Okay. So this height is capital H minus small h. Now you can see that the lateral pressure due to water at bottom of continuous portion. So this is the bottom of continuous portion having the height of this. So what is this height? So you can see that this height is capital H and this height is small h. So what is this height? So this height is capital H minus small h. So what is the pressure? So the pressure at the bottom of continuous portion is gamma W into capital H minus small h and Similarly, what is the maximum value at the bottom of cantilever portion? So, the maximum pressure at the bottom of cantilever portion is gamma W into capital H. So, students, these two equations is very most important while we have to design a rectangle water tank. Okay. Now, we are discussing about the design step of rectangle raised on ground water tank. So there will be 14 steps. Okay. So if in your GTU exam, there will be some data are there. Like you have to design a water tank. There will be no any clarification about raised on ground or underground tank. So you have to design as and raised on ground water tank. But if there is a clarification regarding the raised on ground or underground, but there will be no any clarification regarding this water tank having the L by B ratio less than 2 or L by B ratio greater or equal to 2. So with the help of dimension which is given in the example, so you have to first of all find out which condition. So the condition is L by B less than 2 or second condition is L by B greater or equal to 2. Okay. After that, with the help of the condition, we have to find out the height of cantilever portion. Okay. So this figure is already discussed in our previous slide that our cantilever portions height is a capital H by 4 or 1 meter whichever is more. After that, we have to find out design constant. So students, there are four design constants. So in that, we will already discuss about two design constants. First one is modular ratio, which is denoted by small m. The equation of small m is 280 divided by 3 into sigma CBC. Okay. And after that, second design constant is neutral axis which is denoted by K. So what is the equation of K? The equation of K is M into Sigma CBC divided by M into Sigma CBC plus Sigma HT. So these two design constant is already discussed and other two new design constant is J and the second one is Q. So what is the equation of J? The equation of J is 1 minus K upon 3. And what is the equation of Q? The equation of Q is 1 by 2 into sigma CBC into J into K. So this design constant is discussed in later in our example.
okay so this is the preliminary data in step number 1 to and 3 after that we will start our design of continuous portion only okay because our design of continuous portion takes 30 to 45 minutes while we have to return in the exam okay so the design of continuous portion in which we have to find out the load and moments after finding out the loads and moments first of all we have to find out the water pressure because we have to design only this portion so the maximum pressure is over here at the bottom of continuous portion so first of all we have to find out the capital H minus small h height and find out the water pressure at that point okay after that we have to find out FEM FEM means fix and moment okay so in this example we will use fix and moment because you can see that in the plan this is A B C and D so if this portion is cut from here and like this straight stretch from here so this is a b and c so our a b c is continuous portion okay so our a b and c so you can see that your a b is equal to this is your a b your a b is equal to c d and your b c is equal to d a b okay so we have to design for a b and b c so it is already designed for, for CD and AD. Okay. So this is the use of fix and moment. After that, we have to find out the distribution factor. So we have to use moment distribution method while we have to design the rectangle water tank, which is raised on ground or underground. Okay. After that, we have to find out moment distribution uh, with the help of moment distribution we will find out the final moment of the bending moment of long span and short span now the most important portion is direct tension so you can see that this is the plan and this is elevation so in plan you can see that this is B and this is L. Okay. So, whenever your water is like this. Okay. So, this is your L and this is your B. So, whenever your water is wave like this. So, this water is acting pressure on short wall because this is B and this is L. Okay. So, this water is acting on B, this like other B wall, okay. So whenever we have to find out the maximum tension for long wall, this long wall's pressure is acting on short wall. So half load is acting on this wall and half load is acting on this wall. So our direct tension in long wall is W into B by 2, 5 B the reason behind this similarly whenever your this is b and this is l okay so whenever your water is waving like this this water is like pressure like this so half pressure is on this side of wall and half pressure is on this side of wall so the direct tension in short wall is equal to w into l by 2 after that, the most important portion is to find out the thickness of wall. So, there will be four moments in the moment distribution table and the, there will be two moments at center and two moments at the junction. So, with the help of four moment, we have to design thickness of wall for maximum moment if we will find out the thickness of wall for maximum moment then obviously it is passed for the smaller value 
okay so the equation is m is equal to q into b d square okay and the step number 13 so you can see that the step number 13 is design of long wall but this procedure is done for four times because this procedure is two times for long wall and two times for short wall in which we have to find out for at support first for long wall at support for long wall at span for short wall at support and at short wall for span okay so this procedure is like four times so we have to find out moments t for tension so first of all we have to find out modified moment at support or at span respectively so the equation is m minus t into x okay after that we have to find out two ast one for moments and second one is direct tension which is calculated in step number 10 and step number 11. So, the equation of AST1 is M upon sigma AST into J into D. This equation will have to remember. This equation is not given in any IS code. Okay. And this equation is but easier because this equation is stress is equal to force upon area so we have to find out area then the equation is force upon stress okay now the total ast is the ast1 plus ast2 so we have to find out the ast required after that with the help of ast required we have to find out spacing spacing provided and ast provided so generally in the rectangle types of water tank, we have to find out or we have to provide it 16 mm diameter or 20 mm diameter. So students, this is the general specification and general design step of rectangle water tank. So this design of rectangle water tank is covered in the next lecture. So in next lecture, we are doing this example with some speed because that lecture is the last lecture of our syllabus. Okay, so students, this is the end of today's session. Thank you.